What was, what was it like when you became a VC um, and what was that transition from being an entrepreneur to being a VC like? How did your thinking change? Yeah. You know, the, the, the part that I think was really empowering to, to me, which is still, I think, what I just love about what I do is, is the superpower of uh, being able to give entrepreneurs m support and advice for sure, but also just money. Um, so, you know, I jokingly say, like, you know, your mom may love you, but and if you have a business idea, you know, she'll continue to love you. I can give you $10 million. And, <laughs> you know, um, you know that, that's a really unique superpower that, you know, that, that I take very seriously, but is, is very unique to our profession. Um, and that part to me was quite energizing. Mm. Um, I think the part that I didn't fully appreciate in the first part of my career, and, and I should have been faster to realize it is that, at, you know, I think having been an entrepreneur where many people had always wanted my advice, thought I could be helpful, not, never expecting me to invest, but they would just make me kind of an advisor or, you know, external board member or whatever. Um, once I became a VC, you know, the, the number one thing they wanted from me was money. And in many cases, they didn't really need my, want to know my advice. They just wanted to know, you know, am I going to invest? Yes or no? And, you know, if not, like, you know, everything else was sort of noise to them. And, and it, I think it took me a while to just realize uh, that relationship. Um, and I should have re realized it sooner. But, um, yeah, I think that, that, was, that was a pretty big change for me. Um, the other thing I, I'd offer is just, Look, it's a, it is a totally different job being, you know, being an operator, you know, you're sort of pushing the rock up the hill every day and, you know, and you can set goals and you can accomplish them. Venture capital fundamentally is an, is an investing role. And so, you know, there can be a week where I'm working my ass off, taking a hundred meetings, you know, doing whatever. But, but at the end of the week, I still haven't made a new investment. Maybe I still haven't, you know, helped recruit someone into one of my companies, you know, there, there's less tangible things I can point to at the end of the week. And that, that means that at the end of a week, like the highs are much lower mm -hmm. um, in terms of that sense of accomplishment of getting things done. Mm -hmm. uh, but also when things are not working out, I, you know, I'd say the lows are much higher, right? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, it's rare that I have to let, you know, let 20 employees go or shut a company down. I, I'm involved in those things, but I don't, I don't own it in the way that you do as an operator. Hmm. 